What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Armored Core Fires of Rubicon is going to be dropping at slightly different times depending on the console or PC version. Here on the Armored Core Twitter page, they posted a release time uh, schedule or something where you can pretty much see when the game is going to be live in your region. Now, in my region, I'm looking at North America, and I think it's very interesting to see that the consoles have a different time as well as the PC side. So Central is kind of my time zone. They're looking at August 24th uh, for the console at 11 p.m., while on PC, it's 5 p.m. on the 24th. Eastern is when you get the PC version. If you're on Eastern time zone, you're going to get the PC version at midnight on the 25th. But if you're on PC Eastern, you're getting it on the 24th at 6 p.m. So from what I'm reading here, the game is going to be hitting PC a little earlier than uh, the other platforms. Just five hours early. It's not really a big deal. Uh, if you're, say, in the New Zealand area and the Australian area, whatever it is or wherever it is you are, you're going to be getting it at that time zone, which this time zone is actually way ahead of everybody else. So people who are playing on Xbox, who usually will take a plane ticket to fly to this region, uh, you know how to you know how to you know pull that off. But on this side of the whole scope, this is where we're going to be. Now, the really interesting thing about this game and the conversation is, in my mind, I don't think this game has really gotten a lot of um, you know exposure from outside of the From Software, uh, Dark Souls, and Armor Core community. I don't think a lot of people are looking at it. But I think it's going to be a sleeper anyways. But in the eyes of those who are into, uh, you know, the mech warrior type games, I think this is definitely a hit and something that many are going to be paying attention to. I want to go ahead and purchase it, but I just I'm not necessarily certain, which is weird because I bought the other Armored Core games I could get my hands on, even though I never played them. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, you know, I was, I was going to play them. My intention was to play them, but time has not permitted me. And I'm thinking if the developers have already confirmed that you don't need to have played the other Armored Core games, then why not just spend that time playing this game? Since I have a very limited, uh, you know, time is a limited uh, resource. And it's one that I wish I had a lot more of, you know, in a given day. But, you know, in between all other obligations, it might be smart for me to just spend my time playing this new title get used to its controls and just enjoy what it has to offer because you know i just think the game looks pretty good i think the game runs you know in my from what i'm seeing the the visuals and the way the mechanics actually jive and run together they seem really smooth to me the one thing that is still you know having me uh, hold back a little bit is the feel um, because so far everything i like the game feel is something that you have to actually get back you know by feeling it I wish there would be like a Steam demo that you can actually play for, say, a little bit. Uh, this will really, really go ahead and make things. Let me see if I can find uh, uh, the store page for it, because this is something that I think many of us, I know we don't necessarily talk about these days, but that's usually what a lot of people are trying to get their hands on. If there was a Steam demo, oh, man, I would be entirely, entirely happy to go ahead and take my, you know, to get a piece, uh, you know, of the action here when it comes to the game, uh, the game feel and so on and so forth. But I don't think that's necessarily the case, uh, you know, right now. Anyways, I don't think we can get our hands on anything like that. But this is pretty much where, you know, the game stands in regard to release windows and release cycles. I think I'll eventually get it. Um, I would love to get it at launch. But again, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where I would love to get how the game feels before jumping in or maybe just to jump in just because there are going to be other people who are curious about the game. And I guess because I enjoyed Elden Ring so much, uh, maybe this might just be one of those things where I go ahead and just jump right in. Let me see. Elden Ring, what did I do with this game? I think I put in 296 hours on Steam. Uh, I think I put in another maybe 30 to 40 hours on my PlayStation version, and I still play that one from time to time, uh, you know, as well. So from software, they seem to be able to deliver a lot. So I don't think it's a matter of uh, doubting their prowess in terms of delivering a good video game. But let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience, and hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.